Hey, good morning, Mohabed. I'm Chad here in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, this is the beginning of the video that I'm getting ready to show you of this beautiful Mercedes-Benz GLC that we have here at our store. We got a great selection of inventory on ground. And I think you're picking a really nice car that we have. So let's go ahead and walk over to it and check it out. This is uh, kind of a cold start video. So you can see the car after the weekend. But there it is. It does have a little dew on it. But as I told you on the phone, it is very clean. And uh, if, I, if I see any uh, cosmetic you know, imperfections or anything at all, I will point them out to you on camera. And we'll also crank her up and look at the interior and all that. So here's the exterior. You got 235 60 series tires on an 18 inch wheel. Um, tires have plenty of tread on them, as you can see right there. All right, so that's, that's a lot of tread. Um, they really good. So you got good tire tread on those. And uh, you know, I've looked at the car several times and shown it to people. And uh, it is really clean. I also have another video that I will send you a link to that um, that shows it, you know, just after we uh, got done detailing it, you know. So that, that's a little little bit better video as far as seeing it without the dew on it and all. But I thought it'd be nice to send one as it's sitting here today. Um, here's the rear tires in the back. There you go. All right. Um, that is not rust. That's just a little bit of, um, you know, surface uh, rust on the rotor from just sitting out here, you know, with it being wet and things like that. Um, it does have blind spot monitoring system and it's well equipped. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. But the exterior body on this car, super clean, no dents, no dings, no major scratches that we can find. So outside's looking good. It already has tinted windows, as you can see there. Um, here's the key. Let's go ahead and unlock. And actually, I'm gonna hit the power trunk button here for you. That opens right up. Plenty of storage space in the back. Um, does come equipped with the cargo cover. There you go. Cover up your personal belongings. And uh, there we go. Back seats fold down, of course. Right here, you got more storage under there. There you go. Um, I don't believe there's a spare because I don't think it comes with a spare. But if it did have a spare, it'd be probably under here. And actually, hold on. No, that's just your, uh, your... Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a spare tire to this car. But we'll look a little more in-depthly here. I guess if there was one, it'd be somewhere under here, but I don't believe it is, so... A lot of your uh, more high-end, uh, you know, luxury cars don't always come with spares. All right, moving right along. Let's go ahead and take a look in the back seats. There's the rear interior. It's got the panoramic glass roof. Back seats are in good shape. Again, if it had any rips or tears in the seats, I would point them out to you. So far, so good. Um, carpets look good. We do have the original carpet floor mats that came with the vehicle. There's the front. Very nice. Um, headliner looks good. Also smells good in the car. Non-smoker. And uh, you'll notice right over there, there's a little button you can press and that will actually drop down those back seats for you, which is kind of cool. There's also one right here. Let's see how that works. Well, look, <laughs> look at that. Just one click of the button, drops it right on down. Pretty solid vehicle. Definitely be safe for the family, for you, your wife, your children. It's a good size car too. It's a crossover size vehicle. So it's not super big like your Range Rover Sport over there or your ML350 Mercedes, but uh, still a very nice car. Um, it does have all your power seats, memory seats, all those options. Let's go ahead and hop in real quick, but before we do, um, the only little imperfection on the interior is the driver's seat has a, has a little, kind of a little tear right here, okay? That is the only imperfection I can find on the car. And uh, we most likely will be getting this taken care of when our uh, interior guys come by and they actually, they do, they fix leather and uh, we'll get them to fix that. 
So that's the only imperfection that I could see on the interior of the car as far as the seats are concerned. Passenger side is in good shape. Dash looks good. Cup holders look good. Very clean, as I said earlier. Um, this is kind of like a mouse pad, and then you can, can, you can switch through different options up on here. Go ahead and put the key in the ignition. So technically this one doesn't have a start stop engine button. Another thing I like about luxury cars is how quiet it is inside the cabin once you uh, sit inside the vehicle. I'll get those wiper blades on for a minute. There we go, nice and quiet. I'll turn this music down for a minute. There we go. Um, yep, you'll control it right here and uh, to go and park, reverse, just wanted to show you. Uh, there's your backup camera right there and you do have uh, a wide angle view and just your standard view on the backup camera. Um, the guidelines do move as you can see when I'm turning the steering wheel. So that's nice when you're backing up. Um, let's go ahead and put it back in park. And uh, as far as options inside of here, you know, you got your radio goes through here, your climate control, all that stuff, but you can still control the climate right here as well. And uh, you got the radio button, navigation pulls up right here for you. So you got your nav and, uh, and all that good stuff. So very nice, very clean. Um, in here, you can open those up. You got two USB ports, an SD card slot, and storage. Okay. Um, plenty of room for bottles and cups and things like that over there. Um, dash is in good shape. You do have the books and manuals to the car right here. And uh, I'm trying to think what else we got. Steering wheel. You got paddle shifters on the steering wheel. You also have these buttons over here that control the multi-information display screen right here. As you can see, hit the home button and you can scroll through trip, nav, radio, media, and all that. Um, service, we'll take a quick look at service on it. Tire pressure monitoring system. Right now we don't have any messages or anything, so oil should be up to date on your oil change. You know, the car will give you a, uh, an alert in here when it's time to change the oil or get a service or something like that. So, you know, vehicles nowadays, they are just really, uh, really smart. Anyways, um, it has a full tank of gas, pretty much. Just one bar away from a full tank. And uh, yeah, it's a nice car. It's clean. Um, the headliner looks good. You got your sunglass holder there. Um, everything works as it should on the car. And I'll show you real quickly. You have all your windows, okay? Again, if there was anything wrong with the car, I would disclose it right now in the video. Um, another feature I like is you can hit this button right down here and fold the mirrors in if you're doing some parallel parking or when you're in a tight spot. You also notice it does have the little triangle on the bottom of the mirror there, which is an indication that we do have blind spot monitoring system. Um, this one has heated seats, um, but does not have cooled seats. So again, just the heated seat option, not cooled. So there's that. Um, the only other little imperfection on the car is just right here on the steering wheel. This little button here has got a little bit of wearage right there, which is kind of common. Um, that's the volume up, volume down, mute, phone, all that. But not a bad car for the money. Very clean, looks good, drives good. And definitely you can head over to our website at smccharleston.com and you can view the Carfax report and all that stuff right from our website. So, thank you for watching. I'm Chad, and I'd love to help you with buying your GLC Mercedes-Benz. Like I said earlier on the phone, um, anything over $200, we will cover on the shipping. So if shipping costs $350, you pay $200, bucks, we will do the $150. If it's $400, you pay two, we'll pay two. If it's less, but either way, it's going to cost you 200 bucks to get the vehicle shipped from right here in Charleston to Jacksonville, Florida. And we can have that done for you within one to two days. So if you decide you want to purchase this car today, get back on the phone with me. You can do the wiring instructions that I can send you through email. You can wire the money in our account. And when the money hits our account after it's being wired in, we'll immediately go ahead and um, schedule your uh, your your car to be transported to you and seriously you'll have this vehicle you know mid mid week 
that's pretty quick. I'm pretty sure of that. So let me know. We'd love to earn your business. If you have any more questions at all about this car, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Reach out to me. Thank you again. Have a great day and I'll see you or hear from you real soon. I'm Chad.